something that's actually much more difficult to input than you might expect it to, yeah. <coughs> then he might have a good time on stage. But uh, Price is definitely a very quick player. You see him start off on the final destination. I think Amsa would disagree. Yeah. Uh, well, here it is. I mean, Captain Jack does have a lot of experience playing on Final Destination, right? Yeah. I will say one thing. He took a lot of damage trying to go for a Needle Charge at close range. And he actually goes for it again. It's looking very risky. He's going to have to watch out because looking at the way Pryson is playing, right? He's, he's very rushed down heavy. And every time you see a close range Needle Charge, this guy, Captain Jack, either takes a lot of damage or loses a stock. Yeah. So, so far the story of this game has been that Captain Jack is not ready for the hyper-aggressive style that Price brings to the table, right? Mm. Potentially, but we'll see. I mean, yeah. the, uh, he, the, the Sheik is going to need to get a grab, get a tech chase, possibly just get a knockdown. Let's see. Yeah, if one of these guys is going to adapt very well to the other one's playstyle, it's definitely been Captain Jack who has experience for three players, right? Mm -hmm. Right there, though, Captain Jack, after getting that dash attack, he actually missed the double jump on the fair. He went for a full jump, misjudged it. Okay, here's the shot, though. It is going to be the first stock of price, and so Captain Jack finally on the board. Yup. Yeah. Oh, and right there, that was sick. Pryson actually jumping forward, getting a sick back air. And you saw um, Captain Jack actually tried to use the needles. But <laughs> Pryson just back aired right through all of them. <laughs> yeah, you could hear the sound effect of like 10 needles being destroyed at the same time. <laughs> also, yesterday, um, uh, going back to doubles, Captain Jack was teaming with uh, Yuri from uh, the Netherlands. And he said, uh, when they played the double fox team, he said, just throw them back off stage. They're so easy to gimp. Yep. <laughs> so let's see if uh, Captain Jack keeps up to his promise of Fox being easy to gimp if you throw them back. Uh, I don't think that Pryson will make it any easier for him. We'll see, man. Is, uh, the way he's playing is definitely tough, but I see it right now, Captain Jack. Opting for a down smash at the wrong percents right there. Pryson was able to crouch cancel. Definitely needs to get him outside of crouch cancel percent. And these dash attacks, too, aren't quite getting him the... Uh, he's not getting the right hit or his... Needle turn around cancel too. Probably, you know, just waking up a little, you know, might be a little, uh, not, not, might, might not be warmed up right now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's the first game of the day, isn't uh -huh. it? Uh huh. But here it is, pressing, picking up off of that missed tech with a neutral air. Yeah, after Captain Jack took the first lead of the game with 120 to 119 percent, uh, uh, both on two stocks, Price had actually closed out that stock, so Captain Jack, uh, behind again. Yeah. But he has been closing the gap in that game. Uh, there was a full stock lead for Bryson at one point, and now it's basically even. Yep, right there, setting up the st <clears throat> what is it? Uh, shield stab with the down smash. That was really good corner pressure, pushing Bryson off, and now he's on his final stop. I do like Captain Jack going for the up tilt right there, especially seeing how Bryson keeps trying to go for full jumps. But yeah, yeah so watch out because he's too much percent right now. And Bryson taking the first game. These aggressive shines, dude. Yeah. So you could see in the last stock that um, Captain Jack was positioning himself with his back to the ledge, uh, standing uh, far off the center stage, yep. and trying to, I think, get to, like a shield grab something on Pryson. But Pryson's back aerial spacing on Captain Jack's shield was so immaculate that there was no way for him to uh, get a shield grab and try to gimp him on that last stock. So possibly uh, Captain Jack learned from that experience that he has to try another thing, right? Just fight him in center stage, try to win the game and not like gimp him. Yep. I think one thing that I remembered seeing from old school Captain Jack is using retreating back airs when dealing with a Fox Rushdown. I don't see him using that at all. Um, looks like he's... Oh, there it is. There's an opportunity. Oh, got torched, unfortunately. Definitely, you could tell he's definitely looking for an opening while Pryson, on the other hand, he's looking comfortable. Pryson, yeah, look at him. He has that. He has Captain Jack in a percent where he could get a wave shine up smash or up throw. Oh, look at that. Okay, maybe it's the first one. I was about to say up throw up air, but <laughs> <laughs> wave shine up smash it is. We'll take it. Yep. That down tilt was definitely risky right there. Pryson had his shield up. Could have gotten a punish. Yeah, possibly like at this point, Bryson won't try to get like uh, um, a too fancy punish because he, you know, he has the lead. True. But that pays, uh, pays out, uh, pays off for Captain Jack in the long run. Oh, 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 oh! This could be dangerous. This is it. Oh, and Captain Jack definitely needs to watch how he comes back on stage. Um, Bryson putting himself out there after you know shining Captain Jack. He, we see he, Captain Jack tech chasing on reaction right there, looking like uh, like a true drug fox player. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Plop, drug fox, throwbacks. 
All right. <clears throat> throwbacks from like the most throwback <laughs> player you could imagine. Has he been watching? <laughs> I guess he has. I, yeah, I definitely feel like he has been watching because like Smash Brothers is to that point where there you you can't escape it, right? It's everywhere. It's true, especially if you have been a top player yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to see how the kids these days do, right? That's right. There it is. There's the back air. Oh, that DI from Pryson, though. He went inside. Yeah, that was that was odd, right? He caught him slipping uh, going to uh, with the side B to the stage. But Pryson, for some reason, got hit on the inside. That whiffed up smash was definitely what Captain Jack needed to get the back air. Pryson, though, still um, letting Captain Jack get away with these down tilts on his shield. He could even shield grab it, you know? All right, there we go. Bryson up three stocks to one against Captain Jack. Does Captain Jack has it in him to pull off that comeback? We'll see. I like Bryson's DI off of that off throw. Ooh, a little late on the punish. Interesting DI by Bryson. He didn't want to get comboed, but I mean, it sets up for the edge guard. You know, it's a double edged sword with that kind of DI. Yeah. But I kind of like that he went for the DI on the F tilt anyway. Bryson dodging all the needles with one full jump. So this could be it, the tech chase. Is this going to be enough? No. Bryson rolling in and Captain Jack not being able to catch on to it. And now Captain Jack on the retreat. Oh, and he's getting wave shot oh. up smash. Oh, that's going to be it. Bryson takes it 2 to 0 over Captain Jack. Oh, it's going to be best of five. Okay. I was sadly mistaken when I thought it was best of three. Both players still sitting down. Bryson up 2 0. Um, so, yeah, what do you think? Where is Captain Jack going to take him? It looks like I bet Final Destination. Wait, wait, actually hear a that. change. All right, because I was surprised that he actually went Final Destination two times. Mm -hmm. All right, so... That's a very Japanese thing to do, isn't it? Yes, especially old school, um, where they used to go on Final Destination a lot. But here it is. I like this pick here for Captain Jack. It definitely changes the dynamic of the match a lot now. Introducing the platforms allows Captain Jack to have a bunch of different op opportunities to actually mount his pressure on Bryson, right? If he has needles, he can needle from the platform and not have to worry about, you know, going for like full jump needles, which are definitely way less safe. Uh oh. Especially seeing how Bryson was able to back it on reaction that other time. Uh huh. So uh, Final Destination definitely gives Bryson a lot more room to run around. So let's see if he's very, uh, if he's good at the, at the runaway, uh, runaway laser game as well. Because uh, he was very rushed down in the first two games, right? Yeah. And he definitely has to switch up strategy on a stage like this. Because if he tries to rush down Sheik, having like three platforms involved, it's going to be much more difficult for him. Uh, I could definitely see Bryson have the opportunity to run away from Captain Jack here if he gets a lead, right? But um, like you said, he has a rush down playstyle, so I'm not even sure if he's the type to want to use the top platform or just all the platforms to force an approach on Captain Jack. We'll see, though. He has the lead now. Yep. So with the second hit up, we're hitting him from the ledge. You know, I think uh, maybe Bryson, uh, having switched his color in between games, maybe like the blue color is just uh, his color to calm down and run away, possibly, <laughs> you know. Just to have a reminder yourself, some people like um, put on uh, different tags to remind themselves of like some mindset stuff they want to do. True, true. Uh, but that lead is diminished now. Captain Jack taking the stock and then giving him a full stock of needles, or not entirely full, but 12% of needles, right into the face. And now Bryson has to fight him up close again, which he is comfortable with. Yeah, I, I definitely think he doesn't have a problem with that one. It looks like on some of his... Uh, oh, yeah, Bryson is... You know, it looks like he's missing... Uh, <laughs> he's definitely missing some of his... His, his tech yeah. <laughs> when it comes to this match in particular. Man, that poor guy. That, that's a bad look for him because he... You know, he's a very, very young player, very, uh, like, I wouldn't say inexperienced, but definitely less experienced than most, most of the players here. So he possibly uh, has a difficult time coming back from some, uh, some mess-ups like this mentally, you know? Let's not hope for it. Let's uh, hope for a close game and not a blowout from now on. Ooh. And right there, I'm not sure if he tried to go for a, a jump cancel up smash out of a dash because he did jump in up air immediately. Uh, I felt like probably going for a wave times up smash probably would have been better because then he would have been able to rack up some damage knowing that the ceiling's higher here. That 132% uh, up smash is going to take care of Captain Jack's second stuff. He's still in the lead and we see a lot of those uh, backflip forward aerials uh, on the short up from Sheik that we uh, talked about earlier today. Ooh! Great use of the PAL knockback from the up aerial to connect to another back aerial. You know, just use it as a combo extender. That's how we do it over here. Mm -hmm. 
And right there, we just saw two times in a row, Captain Jack actually missing his opportunity to just shoot a straight needle at his opponent. Press it with the shine out of shield. Oh. Smart decision-making skills. You can't just jump. You can't burn your double jump and aerial a fox standing at the edge if he has a shield. Not in 2016. Nope. They will shine out a shield, man. Here it is. Ooh, okay, Pryson has his ledge dashes. I see you. Uh huh. Yeah, Pryson brings a lot of tech to the table that uh, Captain Jack is not too familiar dealing with, right? Because he has been playing in six years almost. So, yeah, possibly Captain Jack needs to adjust to that. Oh my god. Uh -oh. That was scary. That was very scary yeah. for Captain Jack, actually. But it, wow. That much momentum from the knockback from the down smash actually um, made it possible so that Pryson could not make it back. Last stock on the third game of the series. Potentially winner bracket stock for Captain Jack right now, right? And first round of winners. I don't think that this is what he expected, right? F especially after he won his pool yesterday. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a different uh, level of player right here with Pryson. Um, it looks like he's trying to go for a lot of these uh, crouch cancels on Captain Jack. Okay, there it is. There's a double jump. Okay, he Ooh, got him. Ooh, this Na is going to be it. Yeah, forcing the Zelda recovery. And there's a 3-0. Pryson over Captain Jack. Uh, we hear loud cheers from the Norwegian crowd. Their boy made it. He took out the, the exotic pick of the first round meetups uh, with <laughs> That's Captain a good way to Jack. <laughs> Definitely the exotic pick of this one. Um, <laughs> wow. That's uh, really, really sick stuff right there by Price. And man, uh, if you look back at some of the hallmark plays that he had during the match, um, one of my favorites, of course, was when I you know, got excited for the shot.